some people choose to stay mad at God. Staying mad at God as if <laughs> that is really going to do something there. Let me say this. Maybe a year ago, I was really, really angry at God for allowing something to happen to me in my life. Because I was thinking, I don't believe I am in sin. I don't believe I did anything wrong for this to happen. So why is this happening to me? So for about three months or so, like it seemed like things were getting worse. <laughs> my Lord, and I was so mad at God. You know, I did not want to pray. I did not want to listen to any music about God. Like, I just, all I would do pretty much, is stare into space, I guess you can say. Like, trying to clear my thoughts <clears throat> and just not think about anything. Staying mad at God it's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> it is not. Trying to get back at God is not going to do anything for you. All it is going to do is make things worse for you. When I stop praying, more bad things <laughs> happened to me. When I stopped listening to Christian music, stopped pretty much praising God, more bad things happened to me. So it was not that I was trying to get back at God. I just was angry with him. Even with that, being angry with God was not beneficial for me. It actually hurt me much more. Whatever God allows in your life, take it. Of course, you can pray against the bad things that are happening to you, yes. But accept, listen closely, Accept what is happening to you, but still fight against the demons that are coming against you. We must accept whatever God allows in our life. Also, we have to come against the bad things that are coming to us in our lives. I pray that this makes sense. Yes, God is going to allow bad things in your life, yes. So with that concept, we have to accept that concept. We don't have to accept demons attacking us, if that makes any sense. God allows demons 
to come into our lives some way, some form. So that concept we have to accept. But we can still fight against the demons that are coming our way. So even though God allows demons to come our way, we still have to fight against them, if that makes any sense. So what I am saying, accept the concept of God allowing bad things to happen to you because it is going to happen to all of us. Listen, you can only see one part of what God is allowing in your life, but you don't see the total picture. You can only see the bad things that are happening to you, but you can't see the whole thing. So if you could see the whole thing, you would not stay mad at God. Because yes, it may be bad at first, but that bad thing is going to do something to you. It is going to, in some cases, get you closer to God. So, in truth, God is not so much trying to beat you down, per se. What he is trying to do is elevate you. So, while you are acting silly, staying mad at God and stuff like that, what he is trying to do is elevate you. Hey, you are down here and I need you to be up here. So, hey... Let me allow bad things to happen to you. Think about that. Have you thought about that? Many bad things have happened to us. You can only see the small picture. Oh, God allowed some bad things to happen to me. You are not seeing the total picture. Maybe you are going through that bad time in your life now so that when you get out, you can help people that are going through what you went through. Have you thought about that? Stop looking at the tiny picture. Look at the total picture. I pray that this makes sense. So accept the concept of God allowing bad things to happen to you. Even though God allowed it, we still can come against the demons that are coming against us. I pray that this makes sense. So every bad thing that is happening to you is not really bad per se. Because in some cases, those bad things that are happening to you, you are going to increase much more in God. Have you thought about that? Of course not. Now you know. <laughs> God bless you.